and welcome back to Pete and Jeremy's D&D Time Game of Three this evening, an adventure I have entitled Regicide Mission. But before we delve into that, oh, actually, let's just delve right into that. So the four of you uh, are some of Bartholomew's most available adventures at this moment. Maybe not the most powerful, but you're certainly not the newest kids on the block. Uh, you have been called in an absolute rush by Roger, who hardly let you get a word out before teleporting you to the city of Ag. It is a, a city of silver built up in um, the Silvered Peaks, which are up in kind of the northwest of the lands of D&D time. Um, Ag is ruled by dwarves, and everything there is built around this economy of silver. Um, but uh... at this moment, they seem to be in dire trade. Sataria, you were the first one to arrive in Bartholomew's shop before Roger poofed you right there. And so you were the first to arrive in King Cragjaw Silverbeard's throne room. He greeted you and appraised you of the situation that there are evil dwarves uh, that glow a horrible purple uh, that are attacking the city and that you will be on a special mission to hopefully put an end to their threat. However, You've had some time waiting around for other adventurers to show up. I'm wondering, what have you been doing hanging around the... It's more of like the war room, but you've got a run of the palace. Uh, what is Sotaria doing? What does what Sotaria look like, and what, what are they, they doing as they wait for the rest of their heroes, uh, their adventurers to show up? As soon as Sotaria steps foot in Ag, she basically has an evil grin on her face and says, I smell extortion! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hello, Ag. You all love me so much. Okay. So, how much are you paying me for uh for getting rid of this threat for you this time? Hmm? Uh, yeah, Craig Just Silverbeard looks at you. Um, well, I was gonna give you two hundred Bartholomew bucks. Uh, 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 I still want that. I want your new crown. It's pretty. Oh, I did. Uh, you know, Fox Sakes takes my damn scepter. Uh, <laughs> do you want my uh, crown? Mm-hmm. You know how this works, King Yipu. Uh, you know, <laughs> if it were any other time, if I didn't so desperately need your assistance right now, I would not... Uh, and he gr grumbles as uh, this kind you of... You say this every single time I'm around, <laughs> and I end up getting what I want, so you might as well stop Only grumbling. Only come here when I really need help. How about you come here when I don't need help so I can say no? And he seems to just be grumbling angrily to himself as he takes off his brilliant silver crown. It's in, uh, It has a couple of gems in it, uh, nice sapphires uh, embedded, and he just hands it to you grumbling, or fine, but you're going to kill the damn evil dwarf. Yes, I'm going to kill the damn evil dwarf. Thank you! I wait for uh, everyone else. Why, why, why I'm looking at the new crown. Ooh, pretty uh, shiny thing. <laughs> I have a question. Uh-huh. Is there any wooden furniture in this room? Well, you're the second to arrive. So as you show up, yes, there is in fact some wooden furniture. There are, and uh, you're in the war room. And so in the war room, there are bookshelves lined with like models, like replicas of, of armies and things like that. It looks very much like if you had a room that was for Dungeons and Dragons, like dedicated for D&D, &D, and it had like figurines and things and manuals. That's what this room looks like. It's got a big long table in the middle made of wood shockingly, uh, which has a model replica of the city on it. Um, and you can see he's placed some figures in it. Um, all the figures in the model are made of silver. But yeah, all of the tape, the table is made of wood, and the chairs are made of a very fine mahogany. And did I just see... And you have just appeared uh, in the room, and you see Sotaria looking at this crown like he... Why are you holding his crown? <laughs> the king it's grumbles a, it's, angrily. It's the, 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 the king loves me so much and values me as a as a dear friend that he always gives me his newest crown. Oh, Thank you, king you do not ask list. <laughs> okay. I, I don't think that's very good. Do you, do you mind if I borrow this chair over here? Uh, Have fun. Yeah, sit down, whatever. The car <laughs> is going to try to carve the chair into a wooden crown, or a segment of the chair. <laughs> All right, so Dakar, what is Dakar? So obviously, Sataria, you are an elf. Um, yep. 
uh, who obviously has a love of fine things. Dakar, what are you? You're a little kobold. Do you have any any particular um, as, like visual traits to you, whether it's like your clothing or anything else? Uh, a kobold that looks vaguely like a kobold trying to dress as some fancy noble knightly hero in like oh. scale mail. Excellent. So you look, you look trying to be a knight. I love it. So you, you sit down next to, what do you go to, like, the big wingback throne chair in here? Well, probably not the most expensive chair. One of the side chairs would be fine. Okay, sure. There's maybe one, like, nearby. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, Sotari is in the big chair. What am I talking about? <laughs> Who am I kidding? Of course Sotari is in the big chair. With her feet, with her feet over, um, basically sitting sideways... Her uh, her legs are over the arms, and you know she's basically <laughs> just having a great old time with her new toy. Beautiful. Uh, all right, so Takar, you go over to that chair and you start like taking it apart, and it, it's held together with like basic construction, like screws or whatever. Uh, yeah. Uh, can you roll me? I guess a, what give a crafting skill. Yes. Before Takar was an adventurer, he was a furniture maker, so he mm-hmm. has wood carving tools okay so you're like taking it apart and you're doing all of your stuff and you're making it really nice uh and yeah by the end you've got a really nice looking crown the chair is taken apart it's just, just completely dismembered uh but yeah you have a really really nice looking wooden crown it looks excellent expertly carved here you go sir he kind of uh, so Cragjaw has been not paying any attention to you all. He's just been looking over his his model replica of the city, moving around figures like, oh yeah, and if I do that, I don't know, but then I gotta roll a charisma saving throw, and if I, oh, oh, what? And he looks toward you, and he looks over, oh, that's a really nice looking crap. And he looks past you at the chair, and you see his eyes fill with horror. That was my mother's chair. <laughs> But I, I asked if I could borrow it. Oh, no. I, I'm sorry. Uh, he takes a crown anyway and puts it on his head. I'm going to need a moment. And he oh, sadly hobbles out of the room, sniffling. Uh, <laughs> he walks away for a minute. Jenny man, and... it normally takes me about fifteen minutes to get him to cry like that. Man, you good. What man, you were good. Uh, I was Roger, I I know this. You may need some people. I've been banging on this door to the back room for the past like two days. You may have just gotten oh, used to the sound. I didn't even notice you, Bioshi. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> he snaps his fingers and you disappear, and appear an egg. In this throne room. Or, I'm sorry, in this war room. You see all the miniature figures. You see the, um, the tomes of war upon the walls, which have all the rules and expansions to war, the real-life tactics, uh, tactic strategy thing. Oh, some tomes. Those are, those are mine now. <laughs> you just start taking stuff off the wall. Oh, this is the first edition. Tomes. Sun Tzu? Who's that? Belong to me. Yoshi, Yoshi, Yoshi. Do it quick before the king comes back. I'll keep watch. Look at that. Sun Tzu, Moon Shi. Oh, yes. All of the good ones. <laughs> now, Jenny, uh, do you, like, appear quickly and have time to, to mess around before the dwarf king gets back? Or do you appear, like, right at the nick of time when he gets back? I appear right at the nick of time. Excellent. Does Bioshi do anything else besides steal all the tomes? You also find, like, scraps of paper that are loosely bound together. Uh, it's lying on the table. It appears to be notes about what's currently going on. No, that's... It's not really a tome. I'm gonna go search for more. Bijo- nah, Bioshi, stop, stop. Here comes the king. Sit down, sit down. And he kind of um, hobbles back into the room. You can see that he's still wearing the wooden crown. Uh, his face is very red. Um, and he is, he doesn't have a, a scepter, but he's got a silver cane now as he walks in. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, and as he says that, uh, Jenny, with a flash, you also appear. Teleported by Roger. I draw my sword. Hello? 
Calm down, Jenny. So pre prepared for some, something. What? Uh, what? Fleet's on attack. I'm, What's I'm, going on? I, I'm friendly. Calm down. Calm down, Jenny. Oh. We got a mission. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, yes, I am Crackjaw Silverbeard, if you don't know me. I'm the current king of the city. He says, looking directly at you, Sataria. And, well... She blows kisses. <laughs> I have a very important mission for you all. As you may or may not, you're probably not aware, actually. Our city has come under siege. Our ancient enemies, the Rengenium dwarves, have resurfaced after a very long time. And they threaten to destroy everything that we love here in Ag. Their main vessel is directly outside, from what we're aware. We have a device. We think we can get you into the vessel. From there, you'll need to take out their leadership. If you can take out their mad king rent, well, hopefully, that can put an end to this nonsense and this violence. And really, I just want them to leave. So if you can't kill him, if you can at least get them to leave, that, you know. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great. Quick question. Yes. Are they rich? I don't know. They're made out of Rengenium. Do you care about that? Yeah, maybe. Would they happen to have any tomes on board? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, here's they like their mountain picked up out of the ground and flew away like a thousand years ago. Oh, so they'd be ancient tomes. Ooh. Or maybe. I, I don't know. They've had like a thousand years flying through the astral plane. I don't know what the hell. By the way, I'm taking these. Hey. They're not my first editions! <laughs> I, oh, I hate adventurers! Biyoshi! 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 Where's that come beard come fish? Come I miss beard fish. Biyoshi, come here, come here, come here. What, what is that? If this thing has any ancient tomes, we agree to let you have them. And if this place is a moving fortress, I call dips. I mean, you can have all the gold you want. No, I want the I want the complete moving fortress. I need a stronghold. Complete moving big fat fortress? Yeah, I want that. I mean, just give me all the tomes. That's all I really need right now. And Not a problem. Forever, they're all mine. Alright, look, this is a little weird. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. Can you just, like, start Get going. You can keep the tomes, all right? If you feel that powerfully about them, all right? Oh, yes. They make me feel powerful. Um, you you yeah. said that you had a device. You need to show us the device. Oh, yeah. No, it's already set up right outside. Just head to the front gates. It should be ready. It should be able to get you right up uh, into a stronghold. Okay. Why haven't you tried to find it, by the way? Fine. I, Let's I go. I go to pick up Biyoshi. Biyoshi? Oh. You yeah. do not need to carry me. I can do this. <laughs> I'm only oh. kind of useless. Look at the name. She, Jenny she, gives the eyes. <laughs> she gives the crown back to the king. You keep this for me until I come back, okay? Thank you. She kisses him on the nose. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Bye. I'm <laughs> so confused. <laughs> you all... Make your way out. Does Biyoshi end up getting carried, or does Biyoshi walk out on their own two feet? Biyoshi walks. I can do this my own. I need to do it my own. I can't be someone else this time, at least. Yeah, walking is fun. <laughs> I've been trying to find myself for a while now. It's about time I do a mission. As you make your way through the city of Ag, silver buildings line the main thoroughfare leading to the front gates. The entire city is built within this hollowed out cavern that is the peak of this mountain. And as you approach the main gates, which would lead outwards to the mountainside, you see them already open ajar. The full 40 foot gates, which is rare. They're almost never open. And as you go to walk through, you feel the whipping of winds and you understand why they had to open those gates. First, an otherworldly purple light shines down from the heavens above. 
But beyond that, you see the device, evidently meant to carry you up to the fortress. A gargantuan catapult. At the end, a very, very crude silver sphere laid in its, uh, in its handle. A few dwarves stand around, kind of waiting. Ah! Hey, uh, you ready? We can get you in the sphere and launch you right up. Th this this is... does not seem safe. Oh, you boy! Know, this I would fun. highly suggest you use a trebuchet next time. This, and as you... This, uh -huh. this reminds me of a, a, a fairground ride that we had in Kentucky. And as you're, like, halfway through saying that, Dakar, I imagine you kind of trail off a little bit as, looking upward, you can see the source of this purple light. A massive shape flies in the sky several hundred feet in the air above this mountaintop. It appears to be an entire second mountain flying in the sky, suspended by nothing. It glows with a brilliant purple light which shines down and makes your skin crawl. By God, that thing is garish. It's also uh. hideous. And the dwarves look to you. All right. Well, I'm sorry, that's, that's not the right word. All right, well, we're going to be aiming for those gates. And he points, and there's a probably similarly sized large set of gates on the side of the mountain, but they're pretty far away. What, what do you think are the chances you're going to hit? It kind of looks at each other. The dwarves look toward each other. Uh, probably pretty good. I mean, dwarven engineering and all. It's a catapult, not a trebuchet. I'm worried. I would be a stupid. I don't think we have much of a choice. Let's go. Let's get in this thing. She's All already right, thinking about how. Fly. It'll She's be already fun, thinking guys. about how. I'm just gonna get ready if we're gonna do this. <laughs> So Tari is already digging about how much she's going to end up stealing extra from the king because of this whole entire method of getting there. <laughs> Just like, up oh, and that is another thousand gold worth of stuff right there. <laughs> All right. So yeah, they pry open the silver sphere uh, and inside there are just like a couple of chairs basically that have been affixed somewhat securely inside of it. Little seat belts. If something goes wrong, you'll hear from my mother. The dwarves look at each other. Look, this is all we have. We don't have another choice. This thing's been sending down waves after waves of monsters. <sighs> Come on. Satari gets us out of things fear. Again, she's already thinking about how much stuff, extra stuff she's going to steal from the king. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess right. I don't have a choice. All right, so Taria and Bioshi climb in. I'm excited. This is like <laughs> going to be like one of my first times flying. I thought you liked walking. Walking is nice, but flying is better. Jenny? Yeah, I follow. All right. The dwarves slowly close the silver capsule, and for a moment, you are left in darkness. You can't see anything of the icy, snow-covered peak around you, and you begin to hear extra cranking of the catapult as it's pulled down the last little bit. And then... Nothing. You feel yourselves flung with an incredible intensity of speed. Uh, the sphere woo, 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 spinning all over the place as you're being whipped around inside of it. <laughs> and, uh, it feels like an eternity that you're flying in the sphere before it impacts something 
I'm gonna need all of you to roll me constant or strength saving throws. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Uh, you slam into something, and you feel whatever it is you hit go through an indent, as does the sphere you're in. It boom, dents pretty dramatically. Um, you all get flung all over hell in creation, except for Dakar and uh, Jenny, who uh, brace themselves. Uh, and you guys take... Uh, 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, Jakar and Jenny taking none as the entire sphere boom, 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 comes to a stop after a few bounces. After this happens, Jenny realizes, oh, I should, probably should have done this. Cast False Sight on herself. <laughs> and 1d4 plus 4. You are currently pl- in Seven. darkness. Sorry about like the vomit, guys, but that, that like, almost knocked me out right there. Jenny has devil sight of 120 feet, I think? Uh-huh. Dakar has that, you uh... You are still in the sphere. Uh... What does Dakar I... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut uh, off. He has that, uh, kobold dark vision, so... Mm-hmm. How, how badly dented is the sphere? Oh, it's, like, caved in on one side. It's like almost flat on one side. I think I almost broke my back. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, she took a pretty serious hit. Like I'm I'm almost oh god. <laughs> what do you do? I just want to get up my own vomit. I, I need to open this now. <laughs> you try and push it open? It seems to be <laughs> smashed shut. Great. Just great. Oh, oh god, guys, I, I think I, I feel it coming on. I get wait, wait. <laughs> Oh god. Bioshi throws up again. No sorry, everyone but Bioshi can see, right? No, I'm in I'm in elf. I can see too. Oh, okay, you can all see. That uh, acid was trying to trying to open this this sphere. I don't uh, know if I can burn through it. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, what's happening is you vomit acid upon part of the sphere, and you see it begin to take effect, sizzling and hissing, uh, severely weakening the, you know, smashed shut nature of it, but doesn't open it just immediately. Uh... Jenny's going to cut her way out. You take out your blade? Mm-hmm. And just begin just hacking at it? Yeah, mm-hmm. with the the hacking, slashing, gutting motions of the Frankenblade, you uh, rend this this thing open. It's made of silver, which is why it caved in so easily. It's also why you're so easily able to slash your way through. And after a few minutes of of hacking and smashing, uh, you are able to cut your way out. And before you is well, an entry hall. It looks like. You see large pillars of stone reaching up into, well, to a ceiling over a hundred feet high. The ceiling is natural, but formed of weird uh, purple glowing crystalline rocks. Uh, They form almost like bismuth, a strange mineral deposit. You see below you, your sphere has landed on a contingent of maybe ten dwarves. Uh, which have just been completely laid out as the sphere bounced a few times. And looking behind you, there is a big sphere-sized hole right through a set of double doors. A massive stone gate. Uh, here's the dwarves so right on the bodies. <laughs> <laughs> so Tara, you go to start searching the bodies, and as you go to peek through them and pry through the d- debris, they aren't bodies. They looked like it. They're, they look like dwarves. As they Jenny emerges, like dwarves. Uh-huh. they say, Honey, I'm home. But Sotaria, as you peek through, they appear to be statues. <sighs> Farku would have fun. Okay. Yeah, they're all totally in the buff. Um, 
they're and they're all like they're made almost of, of crystal in places which allow them to which is why they kind of glow this horrible purple color um yeah this is reminding <clears throat> me of bad experiences all over again great the, these are all naked statues right uh, yeah they've been smashed yep. a bit Okay, Jenny is going to go around and collect any foul eye. Okay, uh, yeah. You collect... five purple glowing crystal dwarf foul eye. Perfect. Great. <laughs> it's so, it's plenty of leftover crystal. Might uh, be worth yeah, I'll grab a couple of the crystals then. <laughs> As you kind of loot a little bit, and the rest of you kind of get your bearings, Dakar and Biochi, mostly Biochi, um, you can hear the echoing of footsteps from down this massive entry hall. The hall itself has to be a solid 300 feet wide, and again, like 100 feet tall. As uh, it sounds like something is coming, alerted by the crashing of the door. <laughs> Guys, I don't think we made a quiet entrance. Uh, you think? Um, Satara's already stopped looting and has basically got herself pushed to the... basically decided to go into the shadows. Okay. Jenny's okay. going to hold action Eldritch Blast. Yeah, and there are, like, giant, uh... giant pillars in here. Uh, I mean, like, 20 foot wide, 100 foot tall pillars of worked stone uh, with engravings and in, in languages you could hardly even fathom. So Jenny's just readying an attack. So Tari, you're going to hide behind one of the pillars? Yep. Okay. I mean, are we doing it this way, Jenny? <laughs> then I guess I I'm going to prepare to. I will prepare to then. Okay. On your mark. All right, I'll, I'll prepare as well. All right, as you all prepare your attacks, you see coming around the corner, maybe 400 feet down this hallway, oh, probably closer to 300 feet, a contingent of 40 dwarves. They each glow a brilliant purple. They're outfitted in brilliant purple, um, again, crystalline mineral armor. Um, and they each wield pretty menacing-looking halberd. Yoshi, do you um, have a Jenny? ball of fire I, that you could cast? I, oh god, I, I think one of these, yes. And they see you, Jenny, and Biyoshi, since you guys opted not to hide. Mm hmm And they are going to just charge right down toward you. Are we really going to take all of them? I was going to say, I'd like you guys to roll for initiative. All right. All right, they did terribly. <laughs> All right, we got uh, Jenny and Sotari up to first. Uh, we've got Dakar. Uh, we got the foes and then Biyoshi. All right. Uh, well, ready to actions go first, uh, which is... Well, they're still that far away, right? Yeah, they're still that far away. So that's all. No ready to action basically goes off there. You just continue having it ready for now? Well, I actually want to cast some things if we're gonna do this. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be your turn in just a minute, I guess. We'll, start, we'll just go through the initiative order then. I was wondering if your ready to actions went off. Not for 300 feet or 500? Okay. How far did you say? They're 400, as they're kind of coming around the corner at the end of the hall. All right. Jenny, it's your move. All right, I'm going to start uh, laying out caltrops. Okay. What kind of an area do those cover? Uh, those cover a 10 by 10 area. Okay. You per action. lay out some caltrops. Yeah. 
That's my action. Alrighty. Uh, <laughs> so, Taria, would you like to do anything? They're 400 feet away. Uh uh. I'm waiting. All I right. got nothing that's gonna. I'm not. I got nothing that's gonna travel that far. Dakar. I'm not exactly a sniper myself. All right. The foes. They begin to run forward. They run forward 50 feet, and then they begin to blink, teleporting short distances closer and closer. Uh, they're somewhat dispersed as they begin to teleport. Um, so they're not like all bunched up, uh, but they are fairly close to each other still. Uh, and when they, as they teleport, they kind of phase in and out of reality, almost disintegrating and then reapparating. Uh, they, mm -hmm. are, and the end of that turn, they're 300 feet from you. Jennings, your move. Um, excuse me. Oh, uh, I will. Is that a ready to action? Is that what you were saying there? I mean, I'll, you, you just forgot me. Oh. Sorry, Piyoshi. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. He's preparing himself. <laughs> Does a Torvar can do this? Tazusu can do this? Tiny Tina can do this? He's gonna go ahead and start preparing. Okay. Uh, excellent. You make illusory clones of Piyoshi. Now it's Jenny's turn. Uh, how close are they now? Now they're 300 feet. I will set up more caltrops. <laughs> Throw down more caltrops. Okay. Yeah, man. Anything else? Caltrop City and turn. All right, Sotaria, would you like to do anything? Nope. Three hundred feet still is not uh, is not basically doing anything anything good for me. Okay. I think you can hit with your longbow at three hundred twenty feet, right? Yeah, but where's the fun in that? I mean, it's fair. I just wasn't sure if you want to try and snipe them down as they ran. I'll wait till we get a little closer. Yeah, all good. Yeah. I'll but wait you're get a hidden, closer. so advantage, so it cancels out. Uh, all right, Dakar. All right. Uh, how close are they now? Uh, three hundred. Ah. Um. You know what? It. It may be time to change what action I'm readying up. Actually. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ready up a proper spell whenever they get Ooh. much closer. Sure. I will let you know their ranges, and you just let me know when their attack, when the spell happens. All right, their turn then. They will continue to charge forward again, teleporting and running. Uh, they end their turn 200 feet from you now, quickly approaching. Biyoshi. Aranith can do this. Triumphant can do this. Morgoth can do this. Granny Grindel can do this. Yoshi talks to himself. Anything else, Yoshi? Well, oh, I just also cast that. What's that do? It's, uh, well, I can phase in and out of reality. Oh, shit. Like they can. Excellent. Can you roll a d20? I'm still uh, there. All right. I'm fine with that. Jenny, your move. More, more cow drops? Uh, they're 200 feet away from now, right? Yeah, they're 200. There are 40 dwarves. The furthest uh, ones are probably 250 feet, but the closest... I'm are going to hold action to Eldritch Blast when they get within 120 feet. Oh, okay. All right, that's Jenny, Sataria. Uh, you said 200, right? Yeah, they'll be in the normal range of your longbow at probably at the end of their next turn. Yeah, okay, I'm just waiting. Okay, are you like readying an action to attack them? Uh, yes. My longbow is out and ready. All right, Dakar? I'm still waiting on them to get closer. All right, they continue to charge forward, teleporting and all that bullshit. Uh, they are 100 feet from you. Jenny, you ready to action? Blam, blam! Eldritch Blast! Uh, yeah, oh, wow. Even through their wow. good armor, you still hit them. Blam! Blam! It's not radiant, it's, uh, force. Okay. Uh, I don't have that. Okay. Um, yeah, so you will strike the first one. Uh, are you attacking the same one, or 
Like Same one, one of them or okay. You will kill that one. One of them claw, collapses as it, charging forward. Would, uh, and that was your ready to action. Um, anyone else's ready to action go off at 100 feet or less? Uh, I guess I'll shoot. All right, like you take I out said. your bow. Ah, oh, crap, that was the wrong thing. <laughs> okay. My bad. <laughs> All good. Sometimes you just throw a dagger instead of shooting with your bow. <laughs> That's fine, though. Uh, All righty. Um, all right, so you hit him for 11. Um, and that'll kill him. So you, I guess, it's actually a little weaker. Can you roll a D8 instead of the D4? Unless you uh, want to just keep the D4. It doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, just keep the D4. I mean, you, you killed him. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah you, it really you doesn't. Fire your bow and yeah. hit one right right between the, the neck, uh, between where the armor and helmets meet. Uh and it collapses, and you see them like disintegrating into ash as they collapse, or rather like almost like a spectral glittery purple dust. Um, all right, that's Jenny. I'm sorry, that was Sataria. That was Sataria's ready to action. No. Yoshi, ready to action. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. I saw him, you can do this. Wait. Even George can do this. That means Yoshi can do this. And I'm going to incinerate them. Now, was this a ready to action or was that This your is turn? his action. Okay. Technically, before that, Dakar's action goes, but we can do it in the opposite we, order for now. Because we, we're we haven't, Dakar ready we haven't gone back to the top of the initiative yet, so. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter. Biyoshi goes after them anyway. Biyoshi, you blast out a, a fireball. Um, oh, God. Okay. So they are probably 10 feet apart from each other. So how many, 20 foot radius? Uh, how many, like 40 by 40? Yeah. So you can get 16 of them with that. Um, as the way they are spaced. And so I will roll 16 d20s. Actually, they die on half damage. You annihilate, just a, a wall of fire just immolates uh, right in the center of them, Biyoshi. I am Biyoshi. <laughs> And I am gone. <laughs> and he disappears. <laughs> and, and the dwarves just argh, get obliterated. Dakar, you're ready to action still. I'm sorry. Are they uh, right up next to us now? They're 100 feet away. Does your uh, ready to action go off at 100 feet? Uh, no, it goes up whenever they're in melee range. Alrighty. In that case, we're at Jenny's turn. Hey. Like regular turn. Sudded. Blam. You blam one? Is that it? Blam, damage? blam that boy again. Alrighty, that will kill one. There are now 21 of them. As they're just blah, bodies flying everywhere, disintegrating move, into sparkling dust. Move back as far as I can. Alrighty. Uh, Sotaria? At their current Longbow. speed, they'll be upon you in a minute. Longbow, okay. one, minute? one last That's time. That's ten turns. <laughs> you take out your longbow and fire? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, five, anything else? Uh, no, but I am going to run behind another dagger for, uh, so I can, uh, and a little closer to my friends. I'm going to uh, run behind another pillow close to my friends, and I'm taking out my short, board, my short sword and my uh, dagger of venom. Alrighty. Alright. What, what, I'm sorry, what did you take out? Your short sword and... Dagger of Venom? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Wait, you're so, only using one bow attack? Yeah, she's a rogue. Oh, yeah. So, did oh. you want to hide, Sotaria? Is that the deal? Yep. Can you want me to I'm moving. Because, yeah, you're, you're ducking around the pillar and stuff. I gotcha. <laughs> I feel... Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dakar, would you like to take an action, or are you just going to keep waiting? They're 100 feet. Uh, yeah, I'll keep waiting. All righty. They are no longer 100 feet. The very front wave of them don't teleport this turn. They instead swell to immense sizes. Uh, so now, count, count these guys up. 
there are 20 of them that are now large creatures. Oh, I'm sorry, 10 of them that are now uh, large creatures. Fill, and the crystals on their armor kind of grow and extend. Um, another group teleports in, and they have uh, weird crystal and blades, which they uh, seem like they're going to swing out. They don't this turn, but they're, like, threatening with them. And they're right up in your grill at this point. Jenny, you backed off. Biyoshi, you couldn't go anywhere on your turn because you teleported away. Um, or you didn't go there, but you... Anyway, you're in this other realm. Um, and actually, Biyoshi, as you, like... In, in the ethereal plane, you see them. That's where they're going when they're teleporting. Okay. Um, but yeah, Dakar, they teleport right up in your grill. Uh, what would you like to do? There are probably four of them at, like, right at you. Oh, boy. Um, this is your boat of ready to action, by the way. I'm going to do something hopefully sensible and not stupid. Okay. I'm casting color spray at them. Alrighty. Just a, Go ahead uh, and roll me uh, them and hit points as you blind attempt to blind them. Thirty-five points. You blind three of them. Uh, how many I say was that? You five. So three of them. Get blinded as you swing the paintbrush of color. Uh, unfortunately, uh, three of the uh, two of them are not blinded near you. Three X blind. I've got a lot of weird notes for these guys at this point. And now, uh, that was your ready action, Dakar. Yep. Excellent. Uh, Biyoshi, you reoperate. Where do you want to appear? There are dwarves like right where you were. As close to Dakar as possible. Okay, yeah, you can just teleport right up, like, probably within 15 feet of Dakar. Well then, Dakar, prepare to be surrounded in flame. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> uh, what is this? Um... Excellent. I actually don't know the name of the actual thing, but... Burning hands, that's alright, you... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Release a, a wave of fire upon these boys. Um... Alrighty. So they had to make deck saves. Three of them are blind, so I'll give them disadvantage. So they all fail, I think? Yeah. And then three, and then two of them aren't. But they also fail pretty badly. Uh, one of them dies. Because he's already very injured. Uh, hmm. And then the other five are all pretty badly injured. Or other four are pretty injured. Well, now right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, back up closer to where Jenny is. Okay. And then I'll uh, disappear. All right, yeah, you blink out. Uh, all right. That makes it the top of the initiative. Jenny, it's your move. There are 20 dwarves remaining. Also, all of are those they... dwarves were hitting caltrops. Are they in melee yet? That is true. A bunch of dwarves just ran over some caltrops. What do Caltrops do? Uh, deck saving throw. On a fail, they take one damage and their speed is zero, and they have to stop for the turn. So most of them should have stopped, shouldn't they? Well, they teleported onto the Caltrops, is the key. Uh, that being said, there are still uh, five of the large dwarves that uh, run into the Caltrops. I think two of them failed, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Okay, so they have to take an, an action, basically, to, to uncaltrop themselves. Uh, no. No. No, it's just their speed is zero for the rest of the turn. Oh, just that, okay. one damage. Yeah, it's just that one turn. If they continue to run through the caltrops, though, again, uh -huh. they have to make a save they for each. They gotta make saves. Yeah. Well, okay. Each square so they move through. They each took one damage. Uh, alright. So now it is your turn, Jenny. What would you like to do? They are not in Blam. melee with you, but they're up there. Okay. 18? And are you going for the big one or what? Or some of the small one? Small one. Okay. You'll hit. And okay. blam them again. Oh no! Oh no! That's not going to do it. And turn. 
Alrighty. Um, that being said, your first attack probably finished one of the ones off that was injured. I mean, there are nine of those left. So, Taria, it's your move. What would you like to do? Okay, let's see. Um, what's all around me right now? Well, you're around uh, a pillar. On the other side of that pillar, there are now four dwarves threatening your friend Dakar. Three of them are blind. Um, there are two that are not blind, or one that's not blind over there. And then there are a bunch of very large dwarves that are chasing toward uh, Jenny. As well as a okay, few more so, small ones around. Okay, since we are, since, let me go after the one not blinded uh, dwarf that's near the car. Uh -huh. And I'm going to use this. Okay, you go for the non-blinded one? Uh-huh. Okay, you will just barely hit him with that okay. 16. Okay, so that means, yep, and yep. Alrighty, uh, you annihilate the, the, one of the, uh, the not-blind one. You okay. You absolutely uh, just obliterate him with your dagger. And I'm going back into hide mode again. Okay, you're just running past the blind ones, because why not? Uh, Dakar, it's your turn. Now I will teach you why I am known as the Dragon Blade. Oh. With Ooh, a very okay. not draconic, but still scary Shadow Blade that they can't see anyways, but... I imagine the shadow, like, coils like a dragon, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's got dragon stuff. And I'm going after one of the blind ones. Alrighty, you have advantage on the attack. I'm going to green flame blade them as well. Okay. Uh, you will hit for 21. Uh, I'm sorry, you will hit on a 21. Go ahead. Nine Psychic, you finish that one off, uh, and your flame jumps. How much does the flame do? Oh, I'm uh, sorry, you don't quite finish that one off. Or do you get bonus damage from Green Flame Blade? You get bonus damage from Green Flame Blade at level five. Yeah, Excellent. I'm not there yet, unfortunately. Well, oh, you're not level five? Well, yeah. that, wasn't that one also hit by the, by the fire? Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. He was hit by the fire. <clears throat> uh, right, so you do kill that one. Sorry. That I'm... should just be a three. I'm not sure why it's a four. Uh, that's a good question. Um, three points of damage. How much did your fire do, Biyoshi? I assume you'd bounce it to one of the most injured ones. Yep. Yeah, uh, you kill a, a second one of the ones that was over there. There's no, like, I, I don't know why you'd go for the healthy one. That doesn't make any sense. All right, is there anything else you'd like to do? Um, nope. Alrighty. The dwarves are gonna go. Uh, the two that are blinded are going to swing blindly toward you, Dakar. An 18, holy shit. That meets my armor. 10 points of sla- uh, uh, should be slashing damage. I guess they're stabbing you with the halberd. Uh, and then the second one misses you. Uh, one of the not blind ones. Biyoshi, you're not there, right? Nope. So I guess he's just going for... Oh, wait. My brain. The tall ones continue going after Jenny. Jenny, how far back did you move? Uh, I'm 60 now, I believe. Okay. The big ones use... The enlarged ones use their whole actions to run at you. Um, there are seven of them now on you. Okay. Uh, one of the small ones teleports to you and makes an attack with a halberd. Uh, which should not be at advantage. So it's a knife. Uh, that is my C, so it hits for eight, eight I believe. Yep. Uh, okay. And then... My temp HP is gone. I take one damage. The other three tall ones charge over to you, uh, Dakar, and they just use their action to get to you. Oh, actually, I need to roll deck saves for the tall ones that went <laughs> after... Um, that went after Jenny. That is three fails. Four fails. 
All right, so four of them are Caltrop that aren't at you. So actually only three of them got to you, Jenny. Um, that's okay. all they got. Uh, Biyoshi, it's your turn. You appear. Where do you want to be? Be closer to Dakar again. Okay, you are at Dakar, and there are three enlarged dwarf things and uh, a couple of regular ones. Two small ones? Yeah, two small ones. May you all feel my fire. Jesus. All right. Ba. Ba. Uh, all right, so... You rolled constitution. That, you're correct, I did. It should be dex, right? Yeah. Bap, bap. There we go. Uh, the tall ones uh, actually both die. <laughs> they burn up. Uh, Wait, they both? Have... Yeah, both of them. They both failed. Got there's there's four and... Yeah, and then there's... there are the two blind ones that can't succeed. That already have are taken half their health and they die. But didn't you say there were four next to Dakar? Yeah, two tall four. ones and two of the small ones. Oh, there were two other you small ones. You said there were four tall ones and two small ones. You're right. There should be four uh, rolls for the tall ones. Uh, all right. They're all, all of the tall ones are dead. Actually, they're all dead. They're just all... Why are there three here? I think you said were... there's, there's four tall ones, two small ones. Is what you what said. did I roll? One... One, two, oh, three, the first four. two are constitution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah they're all, we, we dealt with that. All right, so there's one regular sized dwarf left and six other ones. You're oh, free now, Dakar. Now go kill some more. Yeah, all but the dwarves I'm, around you, Dakar, are dead. I'm going to uh, run down the hall, like away from everything, because they're all okay. behind me now. Yeah, you see there are seven converging on Jenny. Only three have gotten to her yet, and one of the small ones is also open. And then disappear. And then disappear. Excellent. Up Jenny, it's your turn. Everything and run away. <laughs> Burn. Bye. Jenny, it's your move. Uh, how many are near me? There are three tall ones that are at you. One regular-sized one that's at you. And then four... Tall ones that are further away and stuck in caltrops, and they're really dumb. Okay, well, I need to show my good friend how to actually green flame blade. Obviously. Oh, savage. Okay, which one would you like to go for, the tall or the small? So, I'm gonna bonk the tall boy with the okay. actual melee attack. Sure. Go ahead and roll your attack. You 20. will hit. Okay, so it's this. Okay, that Plus. exactly kills the tall one because of the one point of piercing damage from the caltrops. Uh, that for the green flame blade on that specific dude, and then okay. this for the small boy. Alright, small boy is still up. Oh, that's a shame. But one of the big ones died. Cool. So now there are only three that are at... End turn. All right. Sotaria? Sotaria just disappeared. Oh no! Yeah, that's my job. really good at hiding. <laughs> well, we'll get back to Sotaria when she stops hiding. Um, who's next? Dekar. Uh, Dekar. Oh, oh, there's... No, Sotaria. There. Excellent. Okay. Sotaria, yep. Sotaria it's that your turn. Weird. Okay, let's see. Uh... I know I'm you... stealthy. How close am I... The car safe. How close am I to Jenny? You're about probably 50 or 60 feet from Jenny, but the closest um, Durgar are four giant Durgar, like in large. I'm sorry, Durgar. I mean, I meant Rowan, Rowan, Jenny, and Doris. Uh, uh -huh. That they're about 30 feet away from you, stuck in cow traps like idiots. <laughs> Go for the easy target, go for the go for the good target. Fine. I'll go for the easy target. Okay. okay. We're going to go to the nearest tall boy. Okay. And we are going to aim for his Achilles and we're going to dagger venom again. Alrighty, you'll get him. Come up right and... 
Okay, he's not a tall boy anymore. He's a dust and dead boy. Okay, and I am going to... Do I have... I... No, I don't have it yet. I don't have it yet. I don't have it yet. Okay, in that case, I'm going to leap back into the darkness. Oop. All right. You think they might see you at this point, but maybe not. Um, all right, uh, Dakar. There are six of the original 40 left. And uh, the how far away are the small ones? There's only one small one left, and it's about 50 feet from where you are attacking Jenny. Perfect. I'm going to move 30 feet towards it. Okay. And then I'm going to throw my Shadow Blade at it. Oh! Excellent. It's right next to Jenny, you said? Yes. Oh, yeah, Ooh. Dakar, you run forward and throw your Shadow Blade, and as it flies, it, like, transforms in the air like a dragon flying toward them. Go ahead and give me that damage as you nail this, this creature. Oh, yeah. And it just... Yeah. Ugh, collapses, utterly defeated. That'll be no more of that, thank you. I assume you resummon your shadow blade? Yes. Excellent. Anything else you'd like to do on your turn, Dakar? Um, I cannot remember if resummoning my shadow blade is a bonus, is bonus action. Yeah. Okay, well then, nothing else. Alright. The dwarfs. Alright, so we got a we got, well, we got attacks coming down at Jenny. Uh, all right, Jenny, these are the big boys swinging at you now. Um, Kashwing oh. and Kashwing. Oh, 20, 20 get you? Yeah. All right, 11 piercing is its halberd and emboldened, in, well, actually, empowered by its increased size, uh, cleaves you for 11 piercing. It should be slashing, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, the other three. One of them fails the caltrops and is still caltrops. The other two charge up toward you, uh, Jenny, and they're just around you. They're ready to attack you. Uh, Biyoshi, your move. Jenny is surrounded by giant dwarves. Giant purple dwarves. I'm going to uh, up here where I am, which is about 60 feet from Jenny now. Uh-huh. And then just long distance spin at them. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's a dexterity saving throw? Yep, on two of them. Ba, ba. Okay, the first one you hit does actually die because of all the caltrop damage he's taken. Uh, <laughs> the other one is just grievously injured. It takes three damage. Okay. When I say grievous, I mean grievously injured. Uh, all right. And then... And then I back away. <laughs> <laughs> just in case. All right, uh, it's Jenny's turn. Yeah. Oh, me? Oh, you. There are uh, three big dwarf near you. Hmm. They want to kill you. Well, they've been thunderstepped. Oh, shit. Oh, thunderstep! Uh, can you, roll the... <laughs> can you roll the damage? Yeah. Sasha, three, two, because ten. there's a chance they just can't live. Uh, they can live. Yeah. Uh, what's the that saving throw? Pretty bad. Uh, that would be a constitution save, sir. One. Two. <laughs> three. Alright, so one of them is blown to bits. Uh, the other two are not. Where would you like to go with your thunderstorm? It's one of those ones that saved the injured one. I'll go next to, uh, Biyoshi. Alright. And, uh, oh. if, if one of them's willing, oh, wait, I'm gonna no, take... That's a... Just a second. Yeah, I'm sorry, two of them die because one of them was the injured one. Okay. If, if one of them is willing, I'll take one with me. Uh, no, none of them are willing. <laughs> They hate you. <laughs> That's so a shame. Only two left. Sotaria. So, so Jenny, how's that for being carried? <laughs> You're finally doing something. I'm so proud. 
<laughs> Jenny's actually proud, though. It's not sarcastic. She means it. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Okay. Who's all... What's close to me now? Is, it, is one of them still close? Yeah, one of them's still stuck in the cow trap like an idiot. Okay. We're going to run over and dagger him. Ooh, okay. So pretty. And... Just stab and could dead. There's no one left. Standing, looking confused over at where Jenny just was. <laughs> uh, it looks to you all. Jenny waves. Uh, does anyone have any means of binding this nice little guy so we can get some information out of him? Just saying. Oh, he's huge. He's one of the big ones. I could, but I'd be useless afterwards. He looks like he's gonna just come and keep attacking you. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm going to, if I can. Uh -huh. It's your turn. Ah, good. Then I'm going to curse him. Okay. Ah, getting that hit points. I, I see. Yeah. And I'm going to throw the Shadow Blade again. All right, go for it. Is there anyone near this one? or No, there's not. Jenny just teleported away. Oh, ah, no! Crap. The Shadow Blade goes wide. Uh, he's going to spend his uh, whole turn running toward you. He gets right up to you, Dakar. That's all he's got. Now let me just find the right book. Ah, here we go. And he's destroyed. Oh, I'm sorry. He's destroyed. <laughs> and as Bioshi's tome ring, I imagine it's the sound of you slamming the tome shut. That's just, exactly what it says. <laughs> exactly, just bam. And as uh, that happens, you find yourselves alone in a massive entry hall within this floating mountain. Heaps of purple crystalline dust all over the floor. I'm raiding bodies. There's no bodies. Aww. The dwarves disintegrate to dust. Crystalline dust. dust. So Jenny, about that Grumble, body. grumble, grumble, grape, grape, grape. There's Hold on, let's get this over it. Yeah, we need to go kill a king. Yeah, I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> I've been what? willing to pe pe I've been willanting to peel fur and I have been able to peel fur. I want to kill something that's gonna last. Let's or maybe hurry. have something valuable on it. I wanna try and keep these spells up as long as possible. You just charge right now? You keep it up, Biyoshi. You're doing a really good job. I actually am very proud of you. Then again, we could have a short rest and leave then go. I mean I would like that. Do we <laughs> Wait, Sataria, you have you have that thing for that, right? Will it work for that? <laughs> I think so. I mean, it makes one. Well, okay then, fine. Um, Jesus Christ, <laughs> Jeremy, you weren't expecting this, were you? <laughs> uh, give me a moment. I know I put it on here. Ah, crap. I did put it on here, but it's not on here. Well, you're... If I understand it, you're using... What is it? What's it even called? Uh... You are talking about the music box, aren't you, Mabiyoshi? No, not that one. Oh, God. What? Oh, God. No! <laughs> oh, my lord. <laughs> what are you talking about, then? Oh. your treehouse thing. <laughs> I'm not... Darren's they... instant treehouse? Yes, we can take a short rest, like, really quick. I guess you got a point. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Fine, I'm wasting the stupid <laughs> I'm wasting You now the have a trip. flying fortress. It's exactly what you wanted. <laughs> Shut up, Jenny. It was exactly what I wanted, but I'm definitely telling you now, at the end of this, this thing is mine. Do you all hear me? Mine! <laughs> so mine! Now, I... <laughs> you go to the heaps and heaps of, of dust and take out this small magical box and place it down. You've been holding on to this for a very long time. 
a very you, long time. As you hit the little button on top of it. What? <laughs> a gigantic tree sprouts its roots <laughs> digging into the ground and uh, embedding themselves in the stone floor, cracking and destroying it. <laughs> the tree stands 40 feet high, and after the tree grows, the little box just boop, pops up from the from the ground up into the leaves and boop, swells into a gigantic tree house. <laughs> and then a rope ladder <laughs> falls down. <laughs> Okay. There you go. Well. Now it's yours. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Again, I repeat, this thing, I swear, if this thing falls out the ground after this, I'm going to be really pissed. You climb up the treehouse? I'm climbing up the treehouse first and opening up the door. All right, yeah, you, you do so. Uh, <laughs> as you look inside, there are a couple of stools. Uh, for like sit on and um, there's maybe like a poster on the wall but like it's been badly rained on what would like a poster that would Sotaria would have maybe it's like of a dragon and like treasure just it's just mostly treasure but it seems no, like it's been I th- no 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 I would I would I would think this would be more of a troll and it'd be Bartholomew's picture oh, smiling yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah uh, and yeah it looks like you- I just uh huh because you got to remember, Satari has never opened this thing at all. This was, you know, this is all Dark Album is doing. <laughs> it is just a, a very bare bones treehouse. It looks like the tree is growing a couple apples, though. Ew. You've had this for this long and haven't used it yet. I've been looking for a good place to set it up. It's so good. And now Look. it is here for anyone who would like to come visit it when they when they <laughs> enter the floating city <laughs> or the floating mountain. Yes, but I'm but I'm definitely putting in a pay a pay to open box on it. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, Satari so takes one of the apples and starts and starts crunching on it. It's a <laughs> it's a red delicious apple. Yay! Satari so oh, doesn't okay. care. She likes apples. <laughs> All right, there you go. I was thinking of the worst apple that, to me. Anyway, yeah. yeah so you guys eat dry. some apples. You hang out in this kind of cramped treehouse. Five minutes later, you've completed a short rest. And all of you are like, oh, that's a pretty cool treehouse, I guess. <laughs> that's that's the, the general opinion and the feeling you get of this treehouse. I'd it's like cool, to spend some hit dice to yeah, heal. Yeah, please. Spend your hit dice, <laughs> regain your spell slots, warlocks. That gives me... I'm, I'm sorry, paladin and warlock? Yeah. Oh, okay. And wizard. Uh, I guess and wizard. Some arcane recovery. You just read read a quick magazine. It's actually those tomes that I got from uh, the king earlier. Uh, yeah. At the end of the <laughs> short rest, rest, I'm going to get false life. Oh, that's kind of low. Oh well. Mm-hmm. Well, that's better than what I was. I will accept mm-hmm. that. Alrighty then. Are we ready to go now? <laughs> so we can kill the king so I can register his whole... Exciting. Oh, I mean, okay. I can do things now. I've realized that. This is like the third or fourth show oh, yeah, ever in way uh, By the Great way, Satario Sotar- goes over and pets and, and basically pats Miyoshi on the head to, like, saying, very good job. <laughs> that's a condescending way of doing it, but fair enough. I mean, from her, that's like the greatest compliment you can get. She never acknowledges Very anyone. Very fair. And so, as you have completed your short rest in Darren's instant treehouse, uh, you <laughs> clamber on down back into the main area of the throne room. Um, I'm sorry, so trying, were you trying to hide the treehouse like around a pillar? Or were you just keeping it out in the open? It matters for in terms of other people being able to use the treehouse. Satara? I think she needs to find out what her own thing does. Uh, Okay, there we go. I can hear again. Oh, I was going to say, Satara, do you uh, try and, like, put the treehouse around, the tree around, like, behind a pillar, or is it just out in the open? It matters in terms of other people being able to find the treehouse easily. Uh, it's gonna be out in the open so people can't see it. Oh, that's nice. All right, excellent. Yeah. Hey, oh, cool. I'm not a comp- 
I'm not a complete pain in the ass. I'm still putting a pay box on it later when I come back. <laughs> so you climb down and yep, you ugh, stretch, feel pretty well rested. Right up ahead of you at the end of this huge hallway, uh, there appears to be a split, like two main hall uh, directions in the hall, one going to the right, one going to the left, and then directly in front of it, a front, uh, directly in front of you, a big doorway into what should be a throne room. Um, do we want to explore or do we want to go straight to the throne room? I mean, they seem to have been holding on for this long. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, I wonder, fine. I wonder if we can find any exotic chocolate. I'm sure Hiori would love to have some brought back. Uh, I am pulling, uh, Satoria pulls out a coin. Uh, what, te uh, heads we explore, tails we, uh, tails we go straight for the king. We all in okay. agreement? We all in agreement sure. yesterday. I was hoping for some minutes. tomes, but they'll probably be in there anyway. Uh dang it. I was gonna say you're gonna actually roll or are you just gonna just <laughs> flip a coin? Um I don't have any near me and I'm looking for and I'm trying to roll and my computer's just... being a pain. So could someone do that for me please? <laughs> Alright. Jeremy we'll... roll a D two. <laughs> Head is one, tails is two. Okay. You've gotten tails. Damn. I was hoping to explore. All I right. mean, then let's just explore. <laughs> <laughs> I want to explore. Right. I want to you explore. walk down you the hallway and you're, you're looking at the throne room door and you're like, do we just want to explore? Like, <laughs> what do you well, do? I, I was being fair. Okay, so, let's we're going explore a little bit. <laughs> Fine then. Let's go to the left. <laughs> All right. Uh, you head to the left, uh, and as you're walking down this very large hallway, uh, you there aren't a lot of rooms at first, but after maybe fifty feet, you do see a doorway on your left. Is it locked? Uh, you go over to it. No, it's not locked at all. In fact, it opens very easily. Um, the Yay. architecture here is expertly carved stone, um, and they form nice uh, arched ceiling. Yay, but nothing of value. Okay, yeah. next. <laughs> you don't even bother to open the door and look in, you just keep walking. Uh, oh, just open. Fine. Fine. Satari so opens the door. Okay. Looking in, you see what appears to be a large kitchen, perhaps? Um, there are rows of, of um, well, stone tables. There's some strange looking um, meat, perhaps, hanging uh, in the far side of the room. Uh, there's cookware, uh, utensils, all sorts of things around. You don't see anyone. Hmm. Okay. Note for self. Hmm. Are there any, uh, Tomes in there. No. Unless you want, I mean, unless you want, like, want cookbooks. Do you want to loot the place? Do you like take time to loot the place? I want mm. to. I want to see if I can find chocolate. I mean, yeah, if we're exploring, might as well. Okay. Well, <laughs> well no longer cares about while you know, they're exploring, I'm keeping an eye on the throw room, just to be clear. Keeping an eye on the door. Okay. Yeah. Just call if anything mm. comes out. Uh, I'm holding action it. to shoot anything that comes out. Can you all roll the investigation checks then as you loot the kitchen? Or Satara, are you just going to head over to the next room and ignore the kitchen while they loot? I'm ignoring the kitchen. It's a kitchen. I <laughs> un unless, unless, of course, there's something awesome in there. I doubt it highly. I'm ignoring the kitchen. Yeah, as unless, you're course, looting around. Oh. Unless, unless, wait a minute. Hey, guys, if you guys see a healing potion in there, let me know. So you're looking around for chocolate, um, Darkar. Mm -hmm and you're not really finding anything like that. There are some strange cubed meats uh, and various other oddities that maybe are food, you're not entirely sure. But Biyoshi, you find something interesting up on one of the counters, you're looking past, and there's two sets of counters, the normal size ones, and they're the ones that are sized for the large dwarf. And you don't know why, because they can change between them. But anyway, you're climbing up onto one of the large size counters, 
and you can see in the corner there's a big cookbook go over and this cookbook is maybe like i mean a foot and a half tall two feet tall um six inches thick just a huge tome but also there's a big wooden block with a really shiny looking knife in it that you think might be magical <laughs> well then i got myself it's not really tome i'll investigate later but this yeah hmm. and you you pull the knife out and it glows a brilliant purple color uh, it appears to be like growing um, these weird purple crystals off of the um, shank of the blade. Well then, I think I'll put this away for now. It's also about the size of a short sword to you. Seems a little... how fragile does it seem? It seems pretty, stu pretty sturdy. Well then, I guess I might be using this later. Sataria. So, the next room uh -huh. that you come to is a bathroom. Wait. Search the bathroom! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and roll your investigation check. No, there's a reason for searching. There's a reason for searching the bathroom. You're looking Please. around? No. Oh, wait! A wallet. Oh, it's empty. There's nothing in it. Boo. Fine. Uh, meanwhile, uh, back at the throne room door. Can you roll me a perception check, Jenny? Can you roll with advantage? With because advantage? you're really taking your time. With advantage. 15. Okay. Uh, 15, yeah. Yeah, as you're there, uh, all you can just do is, you know, you're just hanging out, listening. You just kind of hear a laughter coming from behind the door. It's like, ha <laughs> <laughs> Very muted. I'm sorry, yeah, Jenny, you hear that. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Jenny. I'll uh, knock she... on the door. You knock on the door? Yep. Uh, like hard or just kind of no. normal? Normal. Okay. Uh, you're not sure it can be heard on the other side. They seem to be thick stone doors. Yeah, I'll knock again louder this time. You hear the laughter kind of stop? What was that? Hello? You hear some some footsteps? Yeah. And the sound of many small footsteps, perhaps. It's weird. You don't know you don't know what this is. It's Okay. Yeah, it sounds like actually dogs probably running. That's what you hear. Sure. And then you hear scraping on the stone door. Yep. Okay. Do you do anything? No. Okay. You hear the footsteps of whoever it is walking closer. Who okay. dares disturb the, re uh, the regent of this castle tower, Mountain? Uh, my name's Jenny. He says Mountain, not Castle Tower Mountain. My brain's losing it, guys. Okay. You <laughs> just say my name's Jenny? Yeah. Ah, you, you, the voice is kind of, you can, you can hear him walking toward the door, but I have no servants named Jenny. No, I'm not one of your servants. You hear the, the footsteps kind of stop. Wait, who are you? Uh, my name is Jenny, Jenny Galanoto. And... You hear the scraping as the door begins to open. Are you playing? Uh, are you playing war in there? The strategy game. <laughs> uh, can you roll for initiative? Sure. Okay. Uh, uh, Twenty-one. Where do you Sorry. think Jenny went? <laughs> <laughs> can you guys also Jenny's roll for initiative? Jenny's back at the door, and we probably should be heading back this way, and we'll search the stupid thing later. Okay. I kind of wanted to take oh, one wow. on my own. <laughs> well, we're going to find out. Uh... <laughs> Maybe that tells you something about how dexterous King Rowan is. Wow, real dexterous. 
all right. Mm. For these boys. Ba, ba. Actually, they should just go together. I'll put them at eight. All right. As the doors begin to scrape open, uh, you can see the snouts of uh, terrible green bee, or I'm sorry, green, purple uh, panther like beasts, large tentacles lashing off their back, attempting to go through the slight crack in the door toward you, Jenny. It's your turn. What would you like to do? Yeah, I'll, uh, uh, did he respond to the question? What was your question precisely? Are you playing war in there? The tactical, ah, tactical strategy game? All right. Question, uh, can we hear the, can, can we hear the war from where we are? You can now because the doors are open ajar. So, Tara, you're 100 feet down the hallway. Uh, Dakar and Biyoshi are only 50 feet down the hallway. At the, I'm going at the to kitchen. action cast darkness on my shield. Okay. And then I'm going to step back and blam blam. Okay, who are you attacking? Because you can't see anything besides this place or be snout right now. Yeah. Oh, okay, just this place or be. <laughs> Uh, you will hit a Displacer Beast. Okay. Uh, with both of them. Okay. Six and eleven. Uh, alright. Is that seventeen total? Alrighty. Alright, so that's the end of your turn. We go to King Rowan. King Rowan throws open the doors. <laughs> How dare you interrupt me in my moment of triumph! Uh, you see behind it a massive, massive uh, purple glowing dwarf. Horrible crystals kind of grow out from the uh, from the flesh, protruding from the skin, and a crystalline beard forms under its uh, his chin. He wields um, no weapon, seemingly. Uh, he also can't see shit. Yeah. Are you sure no, about that? No, no one can see shit, hopefully, because it's magical darkness. Hopefully? Hopefully. All right. Uh, yeah, you see, but for certain, though. That's 100%. Uh, his action I was see to open 100%, the door. Yeah. And he is going to uh, just <laughs> breathe outward, and a swirling wave of what seems to be galaxies comes out from his mouth at you, Jenny, just into the darkness. Oh. Yeah. That's not very nice. Um, yeah, you didn't say you, like, went anywhere, did you? So he just breathes right out. So okay. he'll probably get you in this area. Yeah. Uh, can you want me a dexterity saving throw? Oh, terrible. Damn it. Oh, my God. Ron, what are you doing? A uh, dexterity save? Yeah. Oh. Oof. 11 force damage. Okay. Uh, uh, so roll that I take six. Constitution saving for darkness. Yeah, uh, and that'll be the end Still of the car. Oh, barely though. Uh, I can't see over that darkness to see anything in doorway, can I? No, you no. can't. Then I will just start running towards the darkness. But you just saw the galaxy breath blast through it. <laughs> I definitely need to get up, get up there, so I'll, I will dash so that I can be up there. Okay. Uh, so you were 100 feet away, or you're 30 feet away, or 50 feet. So you just rush right into the darkness, or up to the uh, edge I'll of it? I'll stop right at the edge of it. Okay. Do you want to ready any attacks? Because it only takes your movement to get there. Uh, yeah, I will ready um, Eldritch Chains. Okay. Uh, Displacer Beasts are going to... They can't see you. No. We're going to see if they can smell you. No. no. <laughs> uh, they are going to just run right past you, Jenny. Would you like to take an higher opportunity? Yeah, sure. Okay. Can it be a green flame blade or no? No. Unless, no, you, you don't have Warcaster. No one does. <laughs> uh, you hit? Wham. All right, nine points. Uh, I assume you attacked the one you injured before? Yeah. All right. It is going to attack you, 
at disadvantage because now it has an idea of where you are. Okay. So it goes cha cha and flings twice at the tentacles. I think missing both. AC 19. The other one rushes past you out of the darkness uh, and a horrible displacer beast just appears directly pretty much out of the darkness in front of you. Uh, Dakar, would you like to make your ready to action? Is there anyone on it or is it just the beast nope. itself? It's just the beast. Seems right. to be a well manicured beast, like it's maybe a pet. It's, it's not going to be so well manicured. Yeah. All right, you'll hit him. Eight I force. Am, I am not going to flick closer to me this time. Okay. Uh, it's going to continue. Yeah, it's just going to continue at you and attack you. Uh, this is just normal attacks against you, Dakar. Uh, tentacle and tentacle. Pull. Only the second one hits. All right, for eight total damage, is it whips a tentacle toward you? Uh, that's the end of its turn, and you see them like flickering and seemingly phasing in and out of existence. Uh, that's the end of them. Uh, Sultaria, your move. You can see this displacer beast attacking your bow. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna move from where I am, even though I'm thinking that would be a really good, a really good dar- guard dog. But, uh, <laughs> but unfortunately, I my animal handling is shit. So longbow. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you're attacking the place. Go ahead, you hit him. And there's an ally next to it, so go ahead and add your sneak attack to that. And we. Okay. Uh, all right. And you can see the kind of displacement effect seem to wear off on this creature after you hit him. It's a little bit more tangible. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, nope. I think I'm going to stay where I'm at. Just stay a all little right. bit in the shadows, but I'm going to stay where I'm at. All right. We move to the next in the initiative order, which is Biyoshi. Biyoshi, you can do this. But first, we need to prepare. <laughs> Okay, creating illusory copies of yourself to protect you. No, oh. not not that one. Oh, other oh, one. A blink. Gotcha. All right, but I'll Jenny, go anyway. your move. Hey, it me. Uh, so is there an ally within five feet of this displacer beast that I just uh? No. Upped? No. Nope. Okay. Then. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a booming blade. All right, against one you just attacked. Yeah. Go ahead and give me that attack. Um. Does anyone know the damage for booming blade? I didn't write it down in my cantrips. I think it's just D8. It does a D8 instead of your. Um... Instead of your uh, ability bonus. No, it does a extra D8 on top of my damage. Yeah. Yeah, all right. And then if it moves, it does more. It does, yeah. Uh, 11? Actually, 11, 15, because uh, it's in darkness. 15 will hit, yeah. Okay. And oh, then... uh, no, actually, it's an 11, because it is, is displaced currently, which means you'd have disadvantage on it. So, no, you um... miss with the 11. Okay. Is there anything then else you like to do? I'll circle around it, confusing it. Okay. So here's me moving, but I'm not like moving out of range to get an op attack. Okay. Uh, King Rowant uh, is going to seeing you, Jenny. Uh, does he see what? me? Yeah, he does. In the darkness? Yeah, unfortunately. This uh, he is guy. going to punch you with his atomic fist. Uh, what's your armor? Uh, he just... 19. Punch! Oh, he missed. <clears throat> and he's gonna try and punch you a second time! Oh, nearly missing you. Uh, and... Does this have to be against a prone creature? No, it doesn't. So he tries to punch you twice, and then he kind of leaps into the air and goes to kick at you with, with his gravity stomp. 
Eh. Yeah. Oh my god, he just sucks apparently. <laughs> Plus nine to hit, can't hit you, doesn't matter. Uh, he just misses you with everything. Yeah. Uh, alright, that's all he's got. Uh, um, as my reaction, I'm gonna turn around and say, Wow, you suck. <laughs> Rude. Uh, Dakar, it's your turn. There's a Displacer Beast attacking you. Alright. Um... Uh, the action economy on Pact of the Blade is terrible, and I always forget that. Yep. Yeah, it's not the great. Not the greatest. I will. It's a uh, point point blank range, right? Uh, yeah, he's right at you. Okay. Uh, then I just got, I will conjure my long sword into existence. And oh, okay. I mean, we could say that you've already done that. Like, uh, I'm fine uh, with that. Okay, then I will curse this one and strike at them with booming blade. But I don't have, I'm not level five, so it's a it's a lame booming blade. Yeah, it okay. doesn't do any extra damage on top. Well, you'll it hit it. Uh oh, no, you will not necessarily hit it. Can you roll disadvantage because it is currently oh, displaced? Sorry. Actually, didn't you say it wasn't because it was hit by Sotario? Uh, it's had a turn since then. Oh, no, it hasn't. It has not had a no, turn since then. Well, then my attack hit as well. No, <laughs> no, no. Satari so didn't hit yours. What? Oh. Oh, crap. With that being said, no. okay, you hit him for 11. Um. Bop, bop. Alrighty. Is there anything else you'd like to do, Dakar? Um, nope. That would be everything. Alrighty. The displacer beasts! They hiss at you uh, because they're cats. It's more of a like angry hiss. Uh, and they lash their tentacles first at you, Dakar. Uh, 19 and a 13. 19 hits. All right, for seven points total. Not rolling great on their part. Uh, and then Jenny. What's up? Uh, so you're trying to run circles around it to lose it. It can hear you. Uh, what I want to do here is I want to just roll a, st a, a contest. Your stealth versus its perception. Okay. See if it has any idea really where you are. Oh. Ty. Um, yeah, Ty. Just roll a D1000. I, 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 believe, I believe that just means, like, nothing changes, so it still doesn't know where I am. Yeah, well, I mean, last it did know where you were is the key. It oh, well, then idea. it still knows where I am. Yeah, <laughs> it just has disadvantage on the attacks. It can't see you. Yeah, go for it. 19. 19 is my C. Um, oh. I'm going to shield that. Oh, oh yeah, thanks. there we go. All right. Oh, and then a 21. Still oh, my shielded. God. I rolled so well. All right. And this <laughs> is you. That's a nice oh. story. <laughs> yeah, you shield. Uh, he counters. Block. He can't see oh. me. He can't counter spell. King Rowan can see you. Oh! Oh, I'll use up one of King Rowan's slots, sure. Uh, oh, it's not slots. If it 20... were slots, that would be great. So 21 damage taken? Uh, yeah, 14 from the first tentacle, then se uh, 7 from the second. 21 Sounds total. good. He goes, Chai, your magic has no faith, uh, no chance against my might. Uh, Maybe if you could me. hit me, I'd be more terrified. Ah, uh, growls. <laughs> Uh, so Daria, it's your move. Um, do we still have a beast outside, um, trying to play with the car? Oh, yeah. Okay, so, hit. Ooh. Unfortunately, the 12 is going to miss. Okay. Are you well, still then. staying oh. 100 feet back or 70 feet back? I'm going to stay where I am. I'll okay. move. I'll move in. I'll move in later. We'll move in when they're dead. The your move. <laughs> I'm going to uh, go ahead and take care of that little cat for you. Come here, kitty cat. <laughs> ah, your tome of that's a really good damn roll. Um, all right. He's gonna. Oh, oh we wouldn't have disadvantage. The twenty-one. So he takes seven damage. I don't think it does half damage, because it's a uh, cantrip, right? He takes seven damage. Oh no! Wizard cantrips! 
Oh, that's actually really good. All right. All right. Fair enough. Uh, let's see how much health these guys have. Oh, okay. All right. Um, the More importantly, turn. he's not displaced anymore. Now I'm going to oh, back. Shit. He is not displaced anymore. Um, all right, Jenny, your move. Oh, you're, the one wait. you're fighting is still displaced. So important thing. Still displaced. Okay. Uh, one important question. Sure. I disappear. Uh -huh. Can I see through darkness? I don't think so. Okay. I didn't know if darkness bleeds into the ethereal plane. It's not that it bleeds into it. It's just you see the like reflection of the darkness in like the yeah. I don't think you can see through. Okay. Um, Jenny, what would you like to do? I'm still next to this thing, right? Yeah, yeah, you're still right there, and Rowan's right next to you, too. He's thrown open the door, and speaking of what you can see beyond into the chamber, um, he's got a massive throne, obviously, pillars and stuff. It's real nice. But beyond that is a gargantuan crystal, which is pulsing and glowing with energy, and it seems to be kind of accumulating more and more energy, and littler crystals are growing off of it, and there's a huge hole in the floor below. Huh. I'm gonna hex Wade's curse, King Rowan. Okay, he is hexed. He's cursed. He, I'm sorry, you're right. He's cursed. He's not hexed. I am going to then attack him with green flame blade. Okay, not the displacer beast. All right. All righty. He is uh, not hit by a twelve. Oh, uh, yeah, he's not hit by a twelve. Okay. End turn. Alrighty. King Rowan is pissed. Uh, and he is going to attempt to atomic fist you again. So, oh my god. Punch. <coughs> Stomp. Fuck. Stomp. Yep. Finally. Finally. 23. Shield. All right, he does not have any counter spells for that. You shield and block and stomp, and he, he kind of like rolls his ankle and he's, ah! seems very angry about it. Um, I make, a, I make oh. the One Punch Man okay face. No, <laughs> rude. <laughs> I'm Jakar, not... You hear savage battle coming from within the darkness, but there's one displacer beast in front of you. Is the displacer beast also on the edge of the darkness? Yeah, not like in, it's about 10 feet or five feet from the darkness. It's right outside. Okay. Um, I'm going to Booming Blade it again. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, 16 will hit. Uh, wait, and is it's this... not displaced because, okay. uh, because of Yoshi's ability. Alrighty. Uh, how oh, much 13 good. total? That is pretty good. This is a really injured looking displacer beast. Um, I'm going to strafe around it such that I never step outside of its reach, but I step into the darkness. Okay. And I don't know that I have any good... Yeah, I, I don't have anything super good right now. I'm gonna... So you step into turn. the darkness. Interesting. Okay, cool strat. So you can't see shit, but neither can the Displacer nope. Beasts see you. All right. Um, Displacer Beasts. It turns toward the darkness, can't see you, turns down the hallway and sees Bioshi and sprints toward Bioshi. I'm uh, actually gone. Okay, sprints towards Sortaria. Can I uh, hear it sprinting? You can. So up attack with this. No up attack. You have to be able to see it to up attack. It still takes booming blade damage. It does so. boom. Go ahead and roll with the boom though. And uh, so Taria, there's a displacer beast. Like, did it just roll nothing? I don't think it rolls anything. It should be a D8. All right, there we go. <laughs> so Taria, this displacer beast bolts down the hallway just at you. Eh. Okay, so he's going completely at me, huh? Hmm. Yeah, it ends its turn adjacent to you. Oh, I'm sorry, you are 100 feet away? It ends its turn yep. 20 feet from you. Okay, in that case, I'm going to, uh... 
Do this. Well, the other Displacer Beast was still going to go. Uh, the other Displacer Beast, sorry, Satoria, uh, is uh -huh. going to make two attacks against Jenny at disadvantage. Oh, 22. Still, still shielded. Shield up. Well, shit. All right, <laughs> now it's your turn, Sotaria. Now it's your turn. Okay, uh, I figured that would still count, but if it don't... <laughs> no, go ahead and re-roll. It wasn't your turn. Okay. In that case, God, that it was. In that case, we are going to go after the one who's coming at me and... Dagger of Venom. 13 exactly hits it, actually. Oh, yay! <laughs> In that case. Now there's no uh, one adjacent to it, so you're, you're flying uh, solo. I know, I'm flying solo, that's fine. Oh, still a good roll, nine. Um, and what's... Doesn't this do extra poison damage or something? That's if you cover uh, it beforehand. Yeah, if you use an action beforehand. Oh, uh, okay. So I don't nine. know why I did that. Okay. All right. It's pretty badly injured. I mean, another really good hit will take it out. Uh, I don't remember. I can act twice. Oh, can I? Did you did you throw the dagger or did you run up and stab it? No, I ran up and stab it. Okay. Um, in that case, I'm disengaging. Okay. <laughs> you <laughs> disengage and run off. Yep. But I'm going in the opposite direction. I'm going toward my friend and not away from it. I mean, okay. I'm not going. I'm going back where he, you know, where he came from. <laughs> As you run forward, Bioshi, you appear. I appear in front of him. Oh, okay. In front of him. Sword in hand. I <laughs> imagine this isn't going to last much longer after it leaves. Or after we do this, so, uh. Okay. How is this sword special as far as attack rolls? It's not. Okay, then. It's just a giant kitchen knife. Oh, well then, it looks nice. It does look really nice. It does have magical properties, but they do not have to do with attacks. Oh, well then, I probably should have figured that out beforehand. <laughs> Go ahead and make your attack. Well, I have known that before I do this. Nope. Oh, well then, okay. This is where you learn it. You hit for five proofing damage. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess it does have some magical power. You killed the Displacer Beast. Oh, okay. Uh, and as you hit it and it dies, <laughs> it begins to swell up and inflate. Uh, and looking at it, it appears that the meat is just, like, mutating and getting bigger. Well, then. That's, um... <laughs> I'm gonna turn around and head towards everyone else okay. and then disappear. Alright. Uh, Jenny, it's your move. Oh, hey. It me, Jenny. Mm -hmm. Does Jenny uh, say that or do you say that? Jenny. Jenny is going to... Uh, the Displacer Beast and the dude are still both next to me, correct? Yeah, the dude's kind of blocking the door. Yeah, alright, well, let's cut through him with, uh, Green Flame Blade once again. Okay. There oh, we go. There we go, alright. Alright, are you ready for all of this? I don't know, am I ready? I don't, I don't think you are. So there's that. Let's just see what the total comes out to. And then 2d8 from Green Flame Blade plus my uh -huh. charisma. Uh-huh. Plus my proficiency for him being cursed. Uh-huh. So that is... 15 plus 13 is 28, 29, 30, 31. Okay. Right? Yes? I think so. Sure. Okay, so that's 31 to King. He ah, seems very unhappy about that. And then this to the Displacer Beast, 11. Alrighty. I mean, the Displacer Beast also doesn't like that, but he likes it a lot less. Alright, anything else you'd like to do, Jenny? Oh, he's not dead yet. Alright, I'm gonna bonus oh, no. action drink. Alright, put one back. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What kind of potion is it? Just a regular healing potion? Yeah. Tiny All right. one. I'm not too injured. Yeah, okay. I understand. Uh, it's his turn. He... Oh, sorry, did you move? Uh, just basic, like, maneuvering so that, like, they don't know ex... The Displacer Beast doesn't know exactly where I am. Okay, cool. Uh, he's gonna go. He... Is pretty upset. He, like, looks and see. Oh, he can't see that far with his blind sight. Uh, he's going to just attack you again, Jenny, because that's all he can do. Like, Why won't you die? Because uh, you can't hit me. He is going to uh, attack with a gravity stomp first. Sure. A 19. That is my AC. Okay. Does that actually hit you? Uh, yeah, and I go down immediately. Zero. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I thought you weren't that it's injured. It's only 12, 12 damage. damage. Oh, it's not the no, 21. No, 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 it's just okay. the 12. Uh, slash our... Like, holy shit! 19. All right, so that was his gravity stomp, and he goes, ha-ha! Uh, and then he will, um go and shoot a galaxy breath now that he can see Jakar he will move outside oh of uh the... hold on hold on hold on darkness is still up okay he will move outside of the area outside of the the doorway to the other side of you Jenny um he would probably provoke an attack of opportunity if you'd like to take it yeah oh wow you actually hit him wham Ah, he roars in anger. Uh, and... Oh! Interesting. Okay, as you hit him with that, uh, he is now bloody, actually, which activates his half-life feature. He rawr, screams, and a pulse of purple energy comes out around him. Uh, all creatures within 60 feet of him, which are Jenny and Dakar, and... Yeah, it's, I think it's everyone, actually. I'm in uh, a different plane. Oh, it's a Biyoshi. So, yeah. The... No, because Sataria actually is still not within 60 feet. Is... No, she is. Just nope. Barely. No, you barely. barely out. You're 70. Yeah, I think I'm, okay. I'm, barely, I'm barely out the range. So, uh, Dakar and Sataria, uh, I'm sorry, Dakar and Jenny, can you roll me a con saving throw? Sure. As this atomic pulse goes out. Easy. Oh, yeah, both of you succeed. Neither of you are cursed. Uh, and now he will finish his turn with a galaxy breath. Uh, this is at you, Jenny, and you, Dakar. Now, Dakar, you're blinded effectively from the darkness. I don't know how that affects dexterity saving throws. He exactly lethals me, and darkness like disappears. Oh, shit. Am I still so, blinded for the, the saving throw, then? It doesn't affect it. You still roll normally for some reason. All right. Mechanics, mechanics. Yeah, this time he rolled really well on the galaxy breath. Right. Another 19 force damage on you then, uh, Dakar. And the darkness is gone. You all just see him and the displacer beast. He looks scary. All right, that's all he's got. Dakar, it's your move. There's a displacer beast, and there's him. He looks pretty beat up. Which one looks the more beat up? They're both pretty... Uh, he actually looks more beat up than the Displacer Beast. But he's also tougher looking than the Displacer Beast. He's like heavily armored with crystal and all sorts of stuff. That being said, a lot of the crystal's broken now because it kind of shattered when he uh, went radioactive. All right. Um, I don't have any good way of doing this, so I'm going to... Actually... I'm an idiot, but that's okay because I'm 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 a fun kind of idiot. I am going to do my usual uh, runaway approach. Uh, third level color spray. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Uh, are you getting the displacer beast in this or not? I'm trying to. Yes. Okay. Go ahead and roll me the trying color to get, spray. Uh, trying to get both of them in it. Okay.
All right. He clutches at his face. Ah, he is blinded. The Displacer Beast does not. Um. Oh, boy. I don't think I can... <laughs> I'm dead if I stay here, and I'm dead if I don't. I'm going to try to run away. Okay, yeah, want there, to... You, no one's in melee with you right now. Oh. Oh, that makes this a lot easier than I'm just running um, for running straight away, 30 feet. Do, do you want to stay there and get, pick me up next turn? Help you help your good pal, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> I have no healing at all. I, I have beast. lots of potions on my body. Oh. Uh, I'm at four health. <laughs> what are you doing, Nakar? I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm running. If I can get around to you later, I'll, get, you know, I'll try to take care of you. How far can you run? 30. Oh, wow. So that means you are, you were in the darkness. Yeah, so the Displacer Beast can't, oh, it can get to you because it has 10 feet of reach. All right, the Displacer Beast runs up and attacks you with its tentacles, Dakar. 16. Does not hit. 23. That hits. I'm down. The tentacle lashes you. All right, that's all that Scott. So, Taria, it's your move. Oh, boo. Two of your allies are down, and Biyoshi's nowhere to be seen. Okay. Darkness is gone, correct? Yeah. You see this bellowing okay. king uh, radiation, purple radiation, pouring off of him. All right. I am... Um, how far is the display to be for me? Uh, the Displacer Beast is, what, 70 feet? Just, oh, well, it, run, it ran toward the car, which means it's now, what, 30 or 40 feet from you? Damn. Shit. Double down. I was hoping to attack, then move in a range. Okay. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. All right, in that case, um... What you move? All right. You could like duck behind one of the doorways to the rooms to hide if you'd like with a ranged attack if you'd like if you want. Let's do that. We're okay. going to duck behind one of the doors. Uh-huh. And uh I'm basically going to also call out uh Biyoshi, if you can hear me, which I hope you can. Can you try I'm going to try and get the displacer beast why the other dude is he is blinded, right? Yeah, I mean, you, you have an advantage on attacks against him, if you'd like. They want to get the king. Okay. You're I'm going to... Tr no, I'm not going to draw out to the king. I'm going to try and get this place to be so Biyoshi has enough time to heal, or attempt to heal our comrades, because I have a feeling that this is not going to work. Uh, any other way, it's not going to work out. So I'm going to play right. decoy. So Go I'm going after this... Uh, I'm going to longbow this place to be... Damn it! Uh, well, were you hiding first, or were you hiding second? It's being displaced I was hiding anyway. First. Okay. I was, so, yeah. I was hiding first. Yeah, so it, really wouldn't matter. it is currently being displaced. You'd actually have disadvantage on the attack against it. Mm-hmm. So like I said, it so, wouldn't matter. So. Yeah. The, the nine whiffs, um, and you duck into the room? I've already I've already ducked in the room, so he's gonna know where I'm at anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Biyoshi, so. you reappear. I'm going to reappear in between the two. In between the two what? The Displacer Beast and the King. You can't go that far. You can only go 10 feet. How far are they? Oh, the Displacer Beast ran up. Um, yes. Yeah, I mean, the Displacer Beast is probably 20 feet from where you disappeared. Like, because you behind me or in back. front of me? No, I, I me. moved uh, ahead after killing the last one. Oh! Okay, sure. The only reason I didn't yeah, get hit was between them. This. Okay, I appear between them. Uh -huh. I look at the king and I say, surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> and then I drop okay. that at my feet. Oh, okay, there we go. There's the fireball. Um, so he has no counter spell left, so he gets a negative two on his dexterity saving throw. Wow. And takes 28 yeah. points of damage. Uh, so that puts him at, oh man, he's grievously injured. He screams in rage. 
Is there anything else you'd like to do, Biosh? I mean, it also hits the Displacer Beast. Oh, shit. Wait, wouldn't that hit you, too? No, 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 that's... Oh. I mean, I dropped it at my feet, but bitch, I don't hit myself. Ah, uh, of course. Yeah, 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 that would hit the Displacer Beast, too. Uh, all right, 12. That's not going to do it. All right. He is... They're both pretty... He's more grievously injured than the Displacer Beast, but... The Displacer Beast is pretty beat up, too. And, uh, what else happened to the other sheet turn? I, uh, run over to Jenny. Okay, you take 30 feet of movement running toward Jenny. Sure. And, uh, how far is he from me? Uh, probably, like, 5 feet, or 10 feet, tops. The, the... The king. Yeah, could I see how far he moved last turn? Like, not far, 10 feet. He just moved to the other side of Jenny. Well, then... I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna hedge my bets and, uh, just kind of get away from him. <laughs> okay, you're just gonna teleport away from him. Yeah. So you're not running towards Jenny. I'm gonna run towards Jenny and then teleport 30 feet farther. Okay, so you're on the, okay, just in case he either turns to you or Sotaria, is that what you're getting at? Yeah, so I should be, like, 40 feet from him and 30 feet from Jenny. No, because he's on the far side of Jenny. Jenny is between you and him. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't realize. Yeah, you had it backwards in your head. Yeah. Also, I didn't hit Jenny or Dakar. <laughs> I figured, yeah. I figured you, were, <laughs> you were excluding them with your fireball. Oh, we got okay. a fan in the chat. Yoshi, the only kind of useless is a badass. <laughs> well, then I'm going to go ahead and I guess run the other way, like towards Sataria. And then, yeah. Blink in that direction. Okay, what, go ahead and roll your blink. And then disappear. <laughs> and disappear. All right. It is Jenny's turn. Can you roll your death saving throw, Jenny? Uh, I'll roll you a 20. How's that sound? Go for it. I love it. Oh. Uh, Not a 20. Uh, King Rowan's turn. Next time. Next time. Uh, crushes Jenny. Mm -hmm. There's uh, no more last time. Wow. That's very rude. He stomps on Jenny. Uh, and then is going to move forward. Uh, he is grievously injured. And actually on his turn, as he leaks radiation, it seems he is actually still losing hit points. Um, and then he is going to uh, use the rest of his action to Galaxy Breath in a 100-foot line which means Sartaria and, well, the unconscious uh, kobold take some damage. How? Because I'm not in the, uh, I'm not in the blast range. 100 feet range. Yeah, but you said straight line. I'm still off to the side. Oh, okay, you're still ducking into the room. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, then he will just charge forward and stomp the car instead. Stomp! Oh, but he can only stomp. That, that, uh, does that go through my AC if I'm unconscious? No, I mean, what's, what's your armor class? 18. Oh my just god, get so he advantage, misses. though. Uh, that's fair. Well, I, he punches you to death, unfortunately, Dakar. Aren't they only at two failures? Or is it not uh, one failure per successful hand? Unfortunately, there's two failures per successful melee hit. Ah. Uh. So he punches you, and you go flying down the hallway. Uh, so, Tarya, that's two dead allies. Yeesh. All right. Uh, you see the kobold's body go flying. Uh, that's the end of his turn. Dakar is dead. The Displacer Beast is going to charge after you, Sotaria. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, you got to be within 40 feet of it if you're still taking those pot shots. Um, it rushes into the into the room with you, uh, and goes to attack you. What's your armor class? Fifteen. Kachwing and Kachwing. Oh, he misses with one, but hits with the other for nine. Okay. As one tentacle slashes at you. Okay, All right, that's fine. So, Charlie, it's your turn. It's place to be stuff in your face. Okay, let's try this again. He's up in my face. 
Thank you. For seven piercing damage. All right. Pretty damage. severely Still injured. Still yeah. up. Uh, um, can I, ooh, <laughs> can I disengage and close the door behind me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. You run yes! out, you slam the door shut, and you just hear the paws scraping at the door. However, you are Stay now in the there, hallway, king. and you okay. see the evil giant king. Okay, I'm going to keep moving, but just out of his range for his breath attack. Is he still blinded or no? Uh, he's not blinded anymore, no. That was until the end of his turn. Okay, so I'm going to stay just at, I'm going to stay just out of his sight in the shadows, if possible. There's not a lot of shadows in this hallway, unfortunately, Sataria. There's okay. a, like, that room was your hiding spot. The next room's 50 okay. feet down. Okay, all right, that's fine. Yeah. I will, but I'm just gonna stay j just out of his, just out of his reach. I don't think he can. He's got a hundred okay. foot reach, and you are fifty feet down the oh. hall. Okay, all right, I'll just stay yeah. where I'm at then. He's he, right. he's got a gotcha there. I mean, you can still move an extra ten feet and be sixty feet from him if you want. Uh, might help for like a later turn. Yeah, let's go. Okay, then I'm going back. I'm going back another ten feet. All right. Biyoshi? Appears. Biyoshi appears. I am Biyoshi, and I am not useless. Uh, King Rowan has proficiency in wisdom saving throws. And... Oh my god. I am not useless. Does not die. Ah, oh, dang. Even after the six? Yep. He's at one hit point. Ooh. Really now? Sataria, he's mine. <laughs> Not if I get him first. <laughs> it's his turn. And how does oh, this shit. work? At the end of its turn, he loses half his remaining hit points rounded up. <laughs> well, he never mind, He screams in rage and from his open maw, he can has one last galaxy breath. Biyoshi and Sotaria. Oh, and it's a high roller. You give me deck saving throws. Uh Oof. Sotaria has 25 force damage. Oof, I'm down. Biyoshi has 12 force damage. Take it. And as he makes one final bellow, he begins to fall to pieces. No! First shards of crystal. And no! His skin begins to deteriorate to dust. And he also no. gets a quick spell to get the spell to score quick. <laughs> and as he collapses, as in a heap of shattering uh, crystal and dust. All that is left is your dying ally, Sotaria, and you in this empty chamber. I'm going to uh, go to the throne now. You leave Sotaria? She'll live on her own, I trust Sotaria, her. Sotaria, can you roll me three death? Oh, can you roll me some death saving for us? Uh, I'm killing you, Bio. She's so badly. <laughs> Wait till I see you again. I trust her. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm killing you, Yoshi. Oh no! Oh wait, 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 wait! Hold up! Wait, 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 wait! Uh huh. I hate to do. I hate to be a pain in the ass. Uh huh. I couldn't use that music box, could I? <laughs> uh, not while you're unconscious. Damn it! Okay, all right, fine. So, fail one. Fail two. Sataria dies. A crit fail <laughs> two failed death saving throws. Ah, Sataria, I'm killing you. As you she die, doesn't love herself. <laughs> uh, as you die, the door 
or I guess not really the door, but Biyoshi, as you walk over to the door to the throne room and look beyond the giant pulsing crystal, you hear footsteps behind you. Not more. And turning back around, I grab a tome. You see Jenny, Dakar, and Sartoria climbing down from the heap of rubble. Sataria tucking a music box away in her pack. Their bodies are still just on the floor around you. I'm killing you, Piyoshi. I am so freaking killing you. <sighs> I'm now. a little bit confused. Sataria, uh, do you I... want to explain? I got this lovely little music box that lets me go back in time. It's lovely. I love it very much. And I still hate Bartholomew, but, you know, I love picking his stuff. So, now, let's go raid this joint. I, I try to do this to see if it works. And I, and I, st- and I walk over to Biyoshi. I, bought, I go over to Biyoshi and I box his ears. You, you should have at least came over and healed me first, you little pain in the ass. Bartholomew, there, there's no PV. Ah, whatever. Okay, he's from. She's real. <laughs> I'm not PVPing him. I'm boxing his ears. There's a difference. <laughs> well, no, that's, he just. There's no PV. Ah, whatever. <sighs> it's the voice that echoes out. I'm saying, uh, actually, as a question, Jakar, if given the chance to go back in time with Sataria and complete your mission, would you? Yes, he would. All right. Jenny, if given the chance to go back in time with Sotaria and complete your mission, would you? Jenny? Uh-oh. Jenny is currently uh, on mute. Well, uh, <laughs> why are you asking me? <laughs> of course I would. Okay, I just wasn't sure. Hey, Jenny, give him the backpack. Let's go. Uh, I'm very proud of you for cleaning up after me. You, you little pain in the neck, you should have helped out the party. I'm not even that messed up. You know what? We're going to have a talk about this later. Yeah, we will. Don't worry. (laughs) Into the room. (laughs) At the end of the room is this gargantuan, growing and glowing crystal. Crackling with arcane power. I take the crystal knife and I hit it. (laughs) Well, you, you do can, not hit that! I you stop can him! See directly below the crystal, a massive hole in the bottom of this mountain. And below it, directly below it, the peak to the city of Ag. I stop him before he shatters that damn crystal. Should but, we just let it fire? But can we mm. drop the nuke anyway? No. No! We, 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 I we, want we, the floating no. fortress, damn it! I've already told you, I call this place. But, Mine. but can we, can we drop the nuke anyway? Yeah, I mean, our, if our we only mission, is. Our only if mission we... was to kill the king. We didn't also have to save the city. Sataria, oh, uh... if we destroy the fortress, you can't keep it. I'm, I'm pretty Exactly! Sure we... My treehouse is here! Yeah, so we can't destroy the fortress. We need to just keep it here. Yes, it needs to stay. Don't you think that this nice, lovely growing scone is the reason why it's floating? Yeah, Jer- we'll Jeremy, just let it do can, its thing. Jeremy, <laughs> can I can I see how long it would take for this thing to activate? Yeah, can you hold me an arcana check? Okay. Ah, uh, you know, magic. <laughs> That's magic. <laughs> yeah, it's just magic. <laughs> Yeah. Magic. Oh, 30 seconds. Um, 30 seconds? Guys, okay. I'm going to try to keep them keep the them talking. Is. No one else knows. No one else like, eh. Guys, yeah. I, I really think we need to turn this thing off before we like let something bad happen, because I'm pretty sure the other king said that we needed to like not let something bad happen. It's not that anything bad's going to happen. I am in control of it once someone once we get some people to come over here and teach me how to control it and I will be fine. 
Yeah, Let's just throw at the king. And like, it honestly, I, th I think that we should spend some time talking about it because I think that, like, honestly, this could be something extremely valuable, guys. I mean, really, exactly. Sataria, if we try and do something, then it, it might, you know, get rid of it. You should just, you know, we should talk about it. Let's go uh, back to the treehouse, heal up, and then we could deal with it. Yeah. Um, how do we, how do we make it stop? We don't. Come on, Dakar, let's go. I'm yeah, smashing it. I'm um, grappling guys, Dakar. Guys. There's no PvP in the lands of d, &D time. Is I'm grappling PvP? Is, is standing between uh, the yeah, car yeah. and the machine? You swing us your longsword. Your friends attempt to leap in front of it, but no. <laughs> They're blocked by some ethereal, otherworldly Bartholomew force. <laughs> and your sword <laughs> slams into the side of this quickly gl glow, uh, growing and glowing crystal. A small crack <laughs> appears in the side and then <laughs> fractures all up through it. I hate and in you just all. A moment, the it's going to come crashing down. Fades. I'm going to head to Tuk Tuk with my fireballs now. A dull gray crystal lies suspended in this chamber. The magic dispersed and gone. And we Not fall a in... a moment too soon. And we Jenny fall looks really three, disappointed. two, one. I'm going I'm to come. Jenny, you want to come? Oh. I, I, I couldn't let their... I'm yeah. going to tuck, tuck. I'm committing genocide. Let's go, Jenny. All right. Sounds good. Hmm. So Tari is shaking her head and, fall and gets follows the rest of them. Really? All Three right. of us are going to tuck, tuck. So Dakar, you're standing in this chamber, currently alone. Uh, I don't know how any of this works. How do I... Is there a chair? Is, is there a wheel? You don't know. There's currently just a large crystalline throne. Uh, I, I guess And a, the shattered, broken conduit of what was presumably a weapon behind it. The, to the mountain's still floating. Just there the car, the stop worrying about it. We'll find... We'll, we'll get the information later. No, uh, the I... car's not going to come and destroy his own village. That's our job. Why are you destroying the village? I like uh, tormenting. I like tormenting the king. I'm no, I'm so car. curious about this. Yeah. Fine. I, I want to get in the chair. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you, you climb into the chair. It's Is it... a strange, soft. It's not soft, but smooth. Crystal. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't tingle really in any way. Just seems dull. Um, it doesn't usually like Roger or Bartholomew or show someone show up when we've done the thing. Apparently, we haven't done the thing. Exactly. Uh... So we. So, I guess we gotta. I guess we gotta go do some more exploring. Uh, I'm just gonna investigate the goddamn crystal. Do you walk back in? Oh, that's a really smart idea. Why didn't I think of that? It's crystal. It seems inert. Can I check all the controls? There's no controls. Is there very, any very other nice looking throne sized for a large is... creature? Can I search for any other secret passageways inside this building? Oh, I'm sure there are. I many. mean, inside this room? Huh? I'm sure there are many. Oh, in this okay. room, you find. Yeah, in the room. Okay. All right. I'm going back out. I'm. Was there back anything up. in the dust? Oh wait, I got this. Is this, like, knife a key? Is there a place I could put this knife? So, so, Daria, as you go to, like, walk out, you see Roger standing in the main entry chamber. 
little no mission. Roger turn. this. You see that he's wearing he's wearing uh, his normal kind of green robes, little star patterns, but he's got a star wand, and he looks he looks unhappy. Roger, is this you? This isn't. Th this is really oh. you, right? Yeah, no, it's me. Uh, Satara, you know, I, I got no qualms with you. You're all good. Um, uh -huh. good no, job. no, no, no. No, 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 no. See, the, the last time you appeared out of out of nowhere, you know, like this, we end up uh -huh. fighting a stupid painty ass lynch. I don't no, trust I, this. I assure you, I'd be. You can chew me if you want. Uh, I like you a little too much, Roger. That's why I don't want to shoot you. So. Tony shoots but... him. Oh, 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 my <laughs> shoulder. <laughs> All right. Wait All right, a second. Daddy. What? There's no PvP in the lands of D&D &D time and amongst Bartholomew's adventures. How did you get hit? Honestly, Good I point. think Bartholomew just let people hit me. Last time, you know, last time I got hurt, they literally threw me to my death with piratas. Oh. Hmm. Jenny, yeah, checks, point. Jenny checks the Galanodal lore book. <laughs> Is the uh, is Jenny, he telling I don't the truth? Think I have any problems with you. You're just going back to the coast, right? See, now you're making me wonder, Roger. Because I still want this fortress. So what you doing here? Hmm? Oh, I came to talk to the Oshi. Uh huh. Hello, Bioshi. I'm useful now. I'm strong. Roger walks up to you, and Roger's very short. He's a gnome. Yoshi, you were strong. And that was great, Tom. But, how are you going to use that power? Are you going to use it to be a bully to your friends? Or are you going to use it to do something good in the world? Because here's the thing about power, Miyoshi. There's no one, always someone stronger than you. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Okay. He kind of looks over. You won't do anything to poor old Tuck Tuck, right? Not unless something happens to it. Then I guess I need to save it, just because, you know, that's what we do. Great! In that case, let's head back to the shop. I don't know how long this mountain's gonna stay floating here. Uh, um, can you help us figure out how to move it so that it doesn't crash onto Ag? Oh, I have you no guys, idea. You guys suck. This is why I didn't want you guys to hit the crystal. That's the well, dwarf's problem. Um, I, I, I can't. I kind of feel bad. I wouldn't want them to lose their home. Mm hmm. Yeah, I also, we kind of said that we were going to take this castle, so, Roger, if you could help us out. Uh, yeah, I'll look into it. We'll see what we can do. Plus, Thank this you. is a large amount of, uh... Crystals? R r r r r r r r oh, RG. I think it's all inert now. Also, maybe try and learn how to get that weapon working again. That could be useful. Mm, I don't know about that. Saving the dangerous. day, you know. I really don't think Bartholomew having a weapon of mass destruction is anything idea. different from the par of normal. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much just him anyway. Anyway! Nice treehouse, by the way. With uh -huh. this, you guys killed Rowan? You saved Ag? Nice job! He fishes through his pockets and comes out with 200 Bartholomew bucks for each of you and hands them over. Good job. Thank you, Mr. Roger. No problem, Dakar. Who wants to ride back to the shop? I don't. I have unfinished business. Yes, right. please. I, I want to get out of here. I'm getting down from here. And Roger woo -woo, waves his star wand around and... Wait. I want to, but I want to go back. And all, all will... He tries to teleport all of you, but if you're not willing, you get left behind. And as, I'll get back fine. Don't worry about it. As uh, 
Roger teleports you back to the shop uh, or wherever you choose to end up going. Our adventure comes to an end. Uh, you've saved the city of Ag for now. Each gained your requisite Bartholomew Bucks and experience. And thank you all for playing this adventure. <laughs>